Hey, what's up? Basic Nick here. Um, in this video series, uh, hopefully not too long of a series, uh, but what I'm going to be showing you, hang on, adjust my mic, what I'm going to be showing you is how to make a video page uh, like the one I have on nickfrosty.com. Now, this video page, kind of nice, uh, it's, it's, it's fairly nice, it's, it's pretty similar to the uh, YouTube video page, and I guess that's what people like about it. Um, how to get that that kind of YouTube feeling on their website? Uh, so that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Uh, now you notice that it's got the uh, video name, it's got the uh, part of the description, uh, it's got the nice little image for the video, it's got a username whoever uploaded it. Now this is not the username of whoever uploaded it to YouTube, but whoever uploaded it to my site. Um, so yeah. Uh, it will have dynamic views, so if you open uh, this to view the video, the view count will go up, and it also has the date that the video was added. So, uh, yeah. Um, now, this was a request by Alan061095 on Develop PHP on the forums, uh, and then started talking about some stuff with this other guy. So, yeah. Uh, what what I'm gonna do is since I already have all of the all of my video information on my server, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna do this in a live testing environment. And how this is gonna be coded is it's gonna be all you have to do is this file, this index.php. You rename it to whatever you want, and then you just pop that puppy into um, into the area, the content area of your site, and it will just uh, show everything accordingly. And uh, I don't know if I can do it in this video, or maybe this, um, or in this series, or maybe another series, but uh, I might show how to do some pagination for it. So it displays only, I think it's by default, it's 20 uh, videos per page, then it goes to the next page, and so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a new file um, and I'm just going to copy the contents of my index file and this file is going to be a connect file. Now if you're using this on a live server, if you have a, your own connect file already, uh, you want to uh, use that as your connect file or maybe just include it inside of the index page or whatever you decide to name it and call it. Um, so how I'm going to make this connect file is it's going to be a generic connect file that will um, just have uh, variables and you fill in the variables and then it'll work for your site uh, according to your information. So I'm going to say db username. Um, or actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put all this in. Okay, so I've gotten all of the uh, variables and everything set up. So this will connect to your database as long as you put in the appropriate uh, uh, variable information. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video once again, and I'm going to put in my information for my server, and I'm going to close the file so you're not going to see that file open again for me. Okay, so I have... I'm going to pop that back up. So I put in my connection information. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to require and we're going to get our connect.php file. Now you want to change that to the location of your connect file, uh, but that's the location of mine. Um, so for now, since we're not going to be doing pagination right off the bat, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to code this like we'd be displaying all of the videos all on one page. So. Uh, we want to put a MySQL query. We want to say uh, select star from. Now, the next thing is the name of your database table. Now, in my case, mine is um, video underscore puts or something like that. I think that's what it is. Um, so, we're going to select pretty much it's select the videos from your database. Um, and then you want to say where. Now this part is optional. Uh, I'm gonna say where ID, or actually um, order by ID and DESC. So order by ID and gonna go descending. So it's gonna show the most recent videos first. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we're also gonna use numrows. 
so inside of our num rows, we want to set it equal to mysql underscore num underscore rows. And inside of here, we have our query variable. Um, so we want to put in an if statement. And our if is going to say num rows is greater than zero. So pretty much what that's saying is as long as one video is found, um, uh, but if no videos are found, we want to put in an echo and say no videos were found. Pretty simple. Um, so inside of our num rows here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say dollar sign. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to say while. <clears throat> so we're going to use our fetch associative array. So fetch a sock. So we're going to use row equals mysql underscore fetch. Fetch underscore a sock, a double -S -S -O -C, And inside of which we have our query. So, <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're connecting to our database and we're pretty much just getting all the information for all of our videos. Um, and uh, what this row allows us to do is just make it so we can uh, get individual information for each video. So uh, we want to say uh, dollar sign ID equals um, and uh, dollar sign row and then brackets. These are not curly brackets, these are normal brackets. And inside of which we have that, our ID. Now this uh, this piece of information in here is the uh, the name of the field itself in your database table and the field for mine is uh, ID. Now I'm going to duplicate this line. <coughs> duplicate the line a couple of times uh, and I also need the title um, which actually I'm going to do user underscore ID. Um, so that's the user ID and that's going to be that's going to make it so you can link off to um, the person who uploaded it uh, and the user name. So do all that goodness. Um, then I'm going to need the title, um, and then description, and I'm going to duplicate this line a couple more times. I'm going to need the keywords. Now keywords we're not going to be using at all in this video, in this series, so actually I'm not even going to have that in there. Um, now the next thing is... Um, views and the last one is date oh no we forgot I forgot one actually uh, I need the video ID um, and now that I will explain later actually I'll explain right now Whoa, I deleted my bracket so what the video ID is is if you open up a YouTube video um, if you open up a YouTube video, you have that, um, like, I don't know, somewhere around like 10, 15 character, uh, just random text. Uh, that is the video ID. Now that must be inside of your database, and that's going to make it so we can actually show our video, and we, so we can show this image here. So that's what that's for. Now, uh, just to be simple for now, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to echo out all this information. So. I'm going to say um, dollar sign title, and then uh, I'm going to put a line break. And uh, so yeah, um, I'm actually going to close the index file. Actually, no, never mind. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to upload all of these files to my server, and I will be right back. Okay, so something I want to point out real quick. Um, I checked my database, and it's actually name. The, the field is name. It's not title. So uh, I just changed that. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh this page. And you can see it's getting all of this. Now, these are all the videos on uh, my server. So this is actually somewhere around 100. Um, so obviously, it's getting all of our information. Um, so now the problem with inside of this echo statement, that's pretty much where you want to style the entire thing. Um, so I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we will continue on with this series.